Hello everyone, welcome back to Insane Body Science with Miss Carmen Johnson. I'm so excited to have you all here today because this is video number three. You first learned about sugars, right? And now you understand why mommy and daddy don't want you to eat a lot of sugar. We didn't say no sugar at all, okay? So don't freak out and go spaz out and have a fit and do a little temper tantrum. You can still have sugar, okay? But again, we want you to keep it under 16 grams a day. So you learned about sugars, and then second video was learning about fats, how fats can clog your cells and surround them like a big heavy blanket and keep your cells from getting proper nutrition. Now the third thing you have to watch out with, I don't want life to be so complicated, so there's only three things that I really, really tell children to watch out for. Try to keep your sugars to a minimum. Number two is try to get in the good fats for your body to build every single cell in the healthiest manner that you can. And now the third issue, and this surrounds us every day, are toxins. And you might go, well, Miss Carmen, you know, I don't really know what toxins are. Well, toxins are found in man's food. You know, God or the universe or Mother Nature, whomever you want to say, brought in all these wonderful things. Whatever your belief system is, wherever the natural foods come from to you, a garden, you know, from a farm, from a vineyard, wherever these things grow, they grow in nature. This stuff grows in a chemical factory, in a plant that has conveyor belts and chemicals and fumes. That's gross, okay? And there's a reason that these things are harming us. And I know you're going, but Miss Johnson, I love Twinkies. Oh, Miss Johnson, I have fruity pebbles every morning. I did too. But you know what? I'm thin and I'm not healthy because I was eating all these same things you kids are eating. I still was eating blow pops every day and I broke like three teeth. It was awful. Um, you don't want to have to go get new teeth. They're very expensive. You know, all of these brightly colored things, they attract us, right? They play with our senses. But see, that's my son Case. No, 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 I'm kidding. He'll be so mad that I said that. Actually, that's my son Braze. Oh, he's going to hate that I said that too. Actually, that was me as a baby. And I was missing my front tooth. Is he not funny? I don't know. Who, whoever wanted a monkey, raise your hand. Did anybody ever want to have a pet monkey? I did. I really did. So that's why he's here. But this is no joke. Now, this is the serious part. Now, everybody, get on your serious face and think about this. Toxins, what do they do? Toxins, they excite your taste buds. See his cute little tongue? They excite your taste buds and they mess with your brain. Okay, they are excitotoxins that we're going to talk about. And excite means they excite you, but they excite your little cells to death. Okay, and we don't want that. So I just mentioned dyes and chemicals, right? So this is where things like all these food colorings come from, right? Food colorings, the, if you think about um, the red, yellow, and blue dyes that you see when you look on the side of a package and you see, oh, yellow this, red and a number, blue and a number, those are dyes. Those are artificial things that are made by man. They didn't derive directly from the earth, right? So these are the things that we're talking about that build up in your bucket. Now, you all, if you've seen the other slides before, remember we, we keep talking about this bucket at the water park. And I know school is almost out. Everybody's heading out to summer. We're getting ready to go to the theme parks, hopefully to get some to do some fun things. And when you're at that theme park and watching that bucket fill up, fill up, fill up, remember, that's what's happening in your body. So if we can go back over here to Bob for a minute. Yes, Bob. I cannot get rid of this guy. He follows me everywhere. And this time his liver's in the right place. I'm glad last time it was up here on his nose and we had to take it down. My children think it's funny to mess with Bob's body parts when I'm not looking. And, you know, sometimes they'll pull out his bladder and like, put it up here like it's his eyeball or something. I'm like, kids, that's his bladder. The bladder goes down here. And they giggle and laugh. And you know, this is funny because this is what you are made of on the inside. Remember, you have this brain that's made up of all these cells, right? And you have the lungs and the heart and the liver and your stomach. Everything in you is made up of cells, right? And we want to do everything we can to protect our cells. So raise, give me a high five. Who's going to protect their cells? I want to see all of you protecting your cells. And how are you going to do that? Well, you do that by getting smart, right? You get a little education. And you understand now that sugar, Mr. Sugar Blob here, remember how we had our first cell in the first video? Your cell is looking for nutrition and the sugar sticks on the end? Well, that's issue number one. 
Issue number two is the fats, the bad fats in our diet that come from packaged foods like the potato chips and, you know, the bad, the Doritos and the Funyuns and all those things that we like, the combos and all those things have bad fats in them, all the cakes and things. Those fats are sticking to the cells, right? So now your cell can't get good nutrition in and it also can't let waste get out. So now here's the third point is all the dyes and chemicals. So your cell is out there looking for nutrition and you decide you're going to have a pack of Starburst. Well, now we talked about the sugars in candy, right? Who wants to guess how many sugars are in, if you ate this one pack of Starburst, there are, I think 33 is the magic number. This is 33 grams in a pack of Starburst, okay? And they're yummy, I agree, but you've already gone double your limit of sugar for the day with a pack of Starburst. But the bad thing about Starburst is not only is it full of sugar, how do you think it gets its bright little colors, the orange and the lemon and the strawberry, where does it get those colors from? You guessed it, it comes from the chemical plant. Remember the place that we said was not such a good place, the place that is putting dyes and chemicals in our body. So do you want to be drinking and eating all these chemicals? No, you don't because your body will spill over into disease. That's what happens when you put all these things in your body. You may not think about it that Lucky Charms, all the little marshmallows are made of colors, right? So that's dye that you're eating when you eat them. And your Gatorades and your sports drinks and your Kool-Aid jammers, all of those packaged bottled drinks, they all get these bright colors because guess what? You guessed it, they have man-made chemicals in them that are not good for us. That's why water is super good. You know, you see the Skittles and as a kid, I mean, who doesn't love these bright colors and all the sugar? But I ask you to please think about it. Do you really want to do that to your cells? Do you want to clog them up? Do you want to block the cells from getting their, getting their nutrition? You're blocking your cells. Now, how do you think your cells are going to function when it's got a wad of bad fat and a glob of sugar on there, and then you're dumping all these dyes and chemicals? Does it make you think that maybe you need to eat fresh fruits and vegetables and lean meats? Those are the beautiful things that you can eat. And I love to do something called nine finger fit, which means hold up nine fingers, any nine fingers you want, Sometimes it's hard to hold down the pinky, so just hold down, maybe hold down a thumb. And so what I teach children is have nine good things. Let me get to a picture that will show you nine good things. Where's our fun picture? Okay, over here, you've got nine good things. You can find a strawberry, a kiwi, a cucumber, have some chicken or turkey. Once you have nine good things, then let's have a treat. If you, if you must, and if you really want something, go ahead and have a treat. You don't want to feel deprived all your life. And it's okay if it's one of these bad things that has a chemical in it, but think, if you ate nine good things, you fed your cells nine, I can't do this, with, I can't do it, I need another hand over here. So nine things went good into your cell, right? And then you only put one little thing bad. But what if you ate all of this stuff up here on the front of the screen, if you ate the Lucky Charms and you had a Coke on the way home from school and then you had a Gatorade after soccer and you had some Pop-Tarts uh, as a late night snack or at after school and you dumped all these dyes and chemicals, it just didn't go in this one cell, it went in your whole body, right? And so the problem is, is day in and day out, if you start flooding your body with all these chemicals, that's when you get sick. And that's when you don't feel good, or you might be hyper and you can't sit still in your chair because it's excited you too much. Again, if you wanna feel good and play well and live happy, that's when you need to make sure that you're putting the right things inside your body. So, you know, things are kind of deceiving. I thought a Nutri-Grain bar was super healthy, right? Look at the pretty strawberries and the little um, wheat symbol up there. And it talks about, oh, there's more whole grains that your body needs. But guess what? You know how they colored that Nutri-Grain bar? Sadly enough, in America, they colored it with red number 40, yellow number 6, and blue number 1. But guess what? Does anybody know where Europe is? Way over in the east side, go across the Atlantic, you get into Europe. Well, guess what? Our sweet brothers and sisters in Great Britain, they have the same Nutri-Grain bar, but you know what? They don't have the icky dyes and chemicals. They have, they color their Nutri-Grain bars with beetroot red, annatto, paprika extract. Much healthier version. So there are healthy versions you can have, but you need to talk to your parents and explain to them why your family should try to avoid the dyes and chemicals 
And then as a family, you all help each other make better choices at the grocery store. If you stay on the perimeter of the grocery store where all the fresh vegetables and fruits are, the lean meats are at the back, the dairy is around in the far corner, and you just stay on the very far perimeter. Don't go in the middle aisle where all the packaged box goods are. You're going to have a lot better shopping cart full of good food that's going to grow great sales. So hopefully that was really helpful. I appreciate you all listening in and being very loving when you talk to your parents. Come back and join us for some more Insane Body Science. There's lots more to explore. Have a great day.